In this problem, we're being asked to verify this trigonometric identity. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So solution. So when verifying a trig identity, uh, one way to do it is to start with one side and show it's equal to the other side. So usually it's better to start with the more complicated side. So in this case, the left-hand side is more complicated, so we will start with that. So we have the sine of theta in parentheses, cotangent of theta plus tangent of theta. And it's super important to actually write it down again, okay? Uh, very, very key. A lot of times people will just like, you know, follow through the work that's already written. You know, it's better to take the extra time to write it out. So the only thing we can really do here maybe is distribute the sine of theta. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have sine times cotangent. So this is equal to sine of theta times the cotangent of theta. And then plus, and then we have sine times tangent. So this is the sine of theta times the tangent of theta. Good stuff. And we're trying to get to secant theta. So we're kind of uh, at a sticking point. So the only thing we can really do now is maybe um, write cotangent and tangent in terms of sine and cosine. So let's go, go ahead and do that. So this is equal to sine of theta. And now the cotangent of theta is cosine over sine. And then plus sine of theta. And the tangent of theta is sine over cosine. So this is sine over cosine. All right, good stuff. Let's keep going and see what happens. So let's see, these cancel. So we have cosine theta plus, and then uh, here we have uh, sine squared theta over cosine theta. All right, so now the only thing we can really do uh, is maybe perform the addition. So in order to do that, um, we have to have the same fraction on both of these uh, pieces. So what we'll do is we'll multiply this first one by one in a clever way. Basically, it's really cosine theta over one. We're missing a cosine here, so we're gonna do this. This is cosine theta over one times cosine theta over cosine theta plus sine squared over, and then this will be cosine theta. All right, good stuff. So this is equal to, now we can multiply these two together. That's going to give us cosine squared theta over cosine theta plus sine squared theta over cosine theta. And now we can add a straight across because we have the same um, denominator. So this is cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta over cosine theta. And this is a really famous identity. Cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to one. This will be equal to one over cosine theta. And that's equal to secant theta, which is exactly what we wanted to show. Right at the very beginning, that's what we had to show. This took a lot more work than expected. Um, I hadn't done this problem before doing it. Perhaps another way to do it would be to first focus on this piece. We could have done it that way as well. So if you add these two up first, then multiply by sine, that might work. In fact, let's go ahead and try it. Let's try to do it that way and just to see if it's a little bit easier. So we have sine theta, parentheses, cotangent of theta, plus tan theta. So is it easier to work with this first? I mean, let's see, this is sine theta, Cotangent is cosine over sine, going a little bit faster this time. And then tangent is sine over cosine. Hmm. So now we'll perform the addition, just doing it a different way. So this is sine theta. So in order to perform the addition here, we have to have a common denominator. So here we have a sine and here we have a cosine. 
So we need sine and cosine on both. So for this first piece, we have cosine theta over sine theta. And we're missing a sine, so we can multiply by sine over sine. Whoops, I mean, we're missing a cosine, <laughs> right? Because we're trying to get sine and cosine. So this is cosine over cosine. Good stuff. Plus, and then sine theta over cosine theta. And then here we're missing a sine, so we multiply by sine over sine. So this does not seem easier um, so far. <laughs> so let's go ahead and finish it. So I think it's about the same either way. So this is sine theta. Here we distribute across. Well, it might be. This is cosine squared theta over sine theta, cosine theta. I feel like this is more writing. Plus, and then sine squared theta over cosine theta, sine theta. All right. Now we can add straight across. So this is sine theta, parentheses, and then we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And that's all over sine theta, cosine theta. So this is sine theta, cosine theta. And this is one, it's that famous equation. So this is sine theta times one over sine theta, cosine theta, Boom, which is 1 over cosine, which is secant. So we essentially did the same thing, just in a different order. I feel this is a little bit more uh, unnatural. Um, I think our first solution was a little bit more natural because, you know, the natural thing to do is distribute. So hopefully this video uh, has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.